So recently we did a video on using Sapphire Boost in place of something like Fidelity FX Super Resolution because that's not quite ready yet. In fact, it, there's no way you can use that until it becomes ready. So I wanted to show you a way to get some extra performance out of your Radeon card. Now we did make a big error in that video in the sense that our understanding is that it does work on all of the 6800 series or the 6000 series cards, but if you go with the 500 or 5000 series, you either need a Sapphire card or a reference model. All the cards that we have here in the office are reference or the couple of sapphire models that we have so that's my fault i did want to clarify that before we get any further into it but one of the things that i noticed a lot of in comments was referring to uh radeon boost so this kind of on sapphire for this one for naming it sapphire tricks boost because radeon boost is a bit different but before we get into how the differences is between those i wanted to d differentiate between Radeon Image Sharpening and Fidelity FX CAS or Contrast Adaptive Sharpening. And what I found is, well, while Fidelity FX CAS is very game specific and has to have specific game support, it was described in all of the marketing materials and all of the, the press decks and slides, they're, they're described exactly the same. It's a per pixel sharpening feature, not a general over the whole screen sharpening. So it's per pixel where areas that it's already sharp, it doesn't add additional sharpening. So it leaves those like they are, and then areas where the it's kind of muddied, say from TAA, so temporal anti-aliasing, it sharpens those areas up and smooths it out. Now, I imagine that in games that have Fidelity FX Cast, the algorithm is a bit stronger, whereas for Radeon Image Sharpening, it's kind of a global on-off toggle, whereas Fidelity FX CAS is game specific and they do have the ability to use the GPU's internal scaler to reproduce the or not really reproduce the image it just displays the image across the native resolution so that gives you the ability to look uh, much more crisp without over sharpening everything so now that that's out of the way what's the difference between Radeon Boost and Sapphire Trix Boost well let's talk about what Radeon Boost is first Radeon Boost is a it is just like fidelity fx cast is very game specific now the images on screen and we'll have a video here that may help explain it a little better but there is a static you have your screen resolution so the image that they show here is uh, borderlands 3 boost off 4k at 65.1 fps turn boost on with an internal resolution of 4k Boost up lift 0% while you're standing still. Now, if you start to move the camera, so whether it's a controller or your mouse input, you start to see a difference with performance. So it would boost off, it stays at 4K. When you turn boost on, you can do an internal resolution all the way down to 50%, meaning a 4K image can reduce dynamically down to 1080p while in movement and it jumps your FPS in this example from 65 to 108. Now the idea here is it works with motion blur and the fact that the game is moving that you won't really notice the reduction of resolution. Now, I personally can tell whenever I use this. However, it's, it's an interesting thing, the fact that when you're moving, your frame rate is going up and whenever you're staying still, your frame rate is going down but that's uh, that's just how that works. Now, that is what Radeon Boost is. It is a dynamic resolution modifier that only takes effect when the camera movement is in place. So the overall, like if you, if you stop and you wanna look around the world and you're just looking, you go, oh, it's so pretty, that's gonna be static. Now, when you start to move, it's gonna go dynamic. It's gonna drop the resolution. Now you can go up to that 50% mark. You can go a lot less if you're, if you're dropping just under 60 FPS and you want to stay just over it while you're in the middle of a, a fight or whatever, that's fine. Now let's jump over and talk about what Sapphire Tricks Boost is because everybody seems to think these are the same things and they are not. So what Sapphire Tricks Boost is, is it's utilizing that Radeon Image Sharpening, but it's just make, giving you a very simple toggle to find the target resolution. So it's not a dynamic resolution. You're setting a target resolution and you can go up to 70% of the native resolution. 
Now the fun thing here is you don't need Sapphire Trix software to do it. The Trix software and the Trix Boost just give you a simple page that kind of does the math for you and helps you pick the resolution in the game. Now you can't just set, if, if you do 1440p and you're running it at the reduced resolution, you don't leave the game at 1440p and then it does everything else. You have to change the resolution in the game to that new resolution, but it is utilizing Radeon image sharpening technology to and the GPU internal scaler to fill the screen and sharpen the image and try and draw it back. So, big thing here, Radeon Boost is dynamic and it's only impacted while you're moving the camera. Radeon or Sapphire Trix Boost is an all the time static resolution using Radeon image sharpening to recover some of that detail. So, hopefully that kind of cleared up the difference between Radeon Boost and Sapphire Trix Boost. And do you need Sapphire Trix Boost to do the trick that it does? No, you really don't. You can use a custom resolution in the Radeon settings. Now, you're gonna to have to do the math yourself, so that's up to you. If you wanna do that, you wanna do, it's easy. You just take the resolution, 1920 by 1080, you multiply each one of those numbers by 0.85, and now you got your new resolution. If you wanna do 85%, if you wanna do 70, it's 0.7. You get the idea. So guys, I just wanted to clear that up because I, I, I clearly didn't do a good enough job explaining that in the other video and it would have made that video super duper long because this one's already long enough. So, and if you got anything out of the video, feel free to like and subscribe, comment down below. We really do appreciate the feedback that you guys give us and hopefully it'll make us make better content in the future. Catch you guys in the next one.